Greetings. I pray that you are doing well today. It is also my prayer that the Holy Spirit is nudging you to engage the mind of God. Today I want to look at the scripture appointed uh, for this coming Sunday, which is also Christ the King Sunday, and see what God uh, might be saying to us through those sacred writings. So I am not going to read all of those readings today. Uh, references are, it's uh, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verses 33 to 43. It's that beautiful scene of uh, God, of of, of uh, Christ on the cross, and uh, the people are saying uh, around him, uh, scoffing him and saying, uh, "He saved others; let him save himself. If he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one." Soldiers also saying uh, to him, "If you are the King of the Jews, save yourself." And then we have. Uh, Old Testament reading from Jeremiah 23, 1 to 6, uh, in which there is uh, this promise of, uh, Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. And uh, then there is Psalm 46, which is my most favorite psalm. I love it. It's uh, it's something that just like lifts you up. It's just wonderful. I won't read it uh, right now because if I start reading the first verse, I'll go through the whole thing. I just love that psalm. Uh, but it is uh, about um, the the kingdom of God. The God is in control, and other kingdoms totter and and uh, fall down and. Uh, uh, nations uproar the kings of Tahrir. You know, he utters his voice, the earth melts. It's just beautiful. Uh, and then it ends with, Be still and know that I am God. Uh, and then there is Colossians, uh, where uh, it talks about, He himself is before all things, and in him all things held together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. This is Colossians chapter 1, 11 to 20. So these are the readings. What might God be saying to us? Um, Last week, during my sermon, I touched upon it, that the whole purpose of Christian faith is to participate with God. Um, you can call it the mission of God, but to participate with God in realizing the kingdom of God in the here and now. It's not that complicated. It's as simple as that. Participate with God in realizing the kingdom of God in the here and now. Uh, beautifully said in the Lord's Prayer, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So our whole um, life as a Christian is to see that the kingdom of God happens right here on earth. What does the kingdom of God look like? Uh, the kingdom of God looks like where God's love is being lived uh, in the world. So it's basically a place where all differences come together and God's love abounds, it reigns. And so that is the uh, reason for us to be uh, uh, Christians. Now, th that idea is reinforced in the Gospel of Luke in this scene where Jesus hangs from the cross and people raise a specific question. If he is the Messiah, why doesn't he go and uh, save himself? The problem is that Christian faith is not about saving ourselves. We cannot work out our salvation. We don't save ourselves. Our Jesus did not save himself. He died on the cross, not for himself, so that his own salvation could get worked out, but he died there so that we may be saved. That's what we believe. And so the 
core idea of Christian faith is that we take upon suffering, our actions may cause suffering, but all of that is to save someone else, to do something which is good for someone else, just like Jesus did on the cross. So that is how a church uh, is called into ministry. So today, I pray that we can begin to find ways, not for our own salvation, not trying to figure out how do I save myself, but how do I live into the world where God's love is reached to every person in this world. And if there are sacrifices to be made, live out those sacrifices just like Jesus did on the cross and reconciled everything to himself. And uh, we read in Colossians, God was pleased with that. So today I pray that we can wrestle in our own lives with that idea of Jesus on the cross, not saving himself, but saving the world. How do we go out into the world and do the same? not seek our own salvation, but of the other, the other whom we may not even like. <laughs> so how do we do that? That is what I feel is the question to wrestle with um, for this week. I will not be preaching this Sunday, uh, but uh, it is Christ the King Sunday at St. Paul's. We think of it as Mission Sunday, and we have uh, someone who has worked um, in Africa on some of the things that uh, we at St. Paul's have also participated in. And she's going to be here and she's going to talk about how in that uh, work we believe we are participating in God's mission in uh, seeing that the kingdom of God and the will of God is lived right here on earth as it is in heaven. So join us at either 8 o'clock or 10 o'clock, 25 Church Street in uh, on in Shelton on the Huntington Green, uh, or you can uh, watch us live uh, on Facebook. God be with you.